Hi, today's movie is the 1932 pre-code horror film, The Most Dangerous Game. Let's check it out. I love that RKO intro. That's a cool door. Wow! Oh my god, that's the coolest door knocker ever! How fantastic! What a great intro! Oh, loving these opening titles, they're amazing! The great Max Steiner doing the music. This should be good. Wow! These titles are just so stylish. I love it. Fay Ray there from King Kong, of course. I love the way they're tilting the shot to make it look like the boat is moving. It's beautiful. I love this device of having the captain, the authority fig figure, being super uneasy about what's happening. It sets a nice tone, you know, unsettling things are happening. Mm, I think they're setting up these hunters for something bad to happen to them. The world's divided into two kinds of people, the hunter and the hunted. Well, luckily, I'm a hunter. Nothing can ever change that. Don't speak too soon. That model is very cute. Look at this! That's brilliant! Beautifully done for 1932. Oh, dear. Oh! <gasps> wow! Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> this is fantastically well done. I'm loving it. Oh, grim. Bloody hell. This would only have been what, 20 years after the Titanic disaster, so all that I think would have been still fresh in the audience's minds. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I was not expecting that! <gasps> no way! No way! <gasps> no! Oh my god! I was not expecting that. <laughs> Another fantastic shot, look at that! Wow! See, already they've introduced this idea of the hunters being hunted by the shark, etc. Very clever, very well written script so far. Look at that! Beautifully done! See, that knocker would put me off. But he's got no choice. That's fantastic. So this is one year after the Bela Lugosi Dracula, and I feel like there are some nice influences coming through from that. Wow. How brilliant. That's creepy. Don't you understand any English? Ivan does not speak any language. He has the misfortune to be dumb. Oh, hello. Are you the owner here? You've yeah. got to have the mute assistant. To my poor fortress. I'm afraid, like, oh Count Zaroff, he's one of those foreigners. Speech. You can't trust him. Smiley, Ivan. Ooh. <laughs> wow. So I guess they're wrecking ships to get right victims the for their dangerous my game. Oh wow, look at that! It's the door knocker symbol again. That is bananas. In a good way. Things are pretty civilized on this remote island. Don't be ridiculous, sis. We are victims of circumstance. Same as Mr. Rainsford. Something tells me this guy's going to get killed. Right to his liquor, it's a victim of this is Mr. Robert Look at the lighting in this shot and the set design. It's fantastic. 
catalogued the gun around. With a quarter of a million acres in the Crimea and an ardent sportsman. When I was only still Fay Ray's getting the creeps already. I'd heard that the Jaguars there were unusual. That's a pretty nice makeup scar he's got there. To the level of the savage. I made myself perfect in the use of the Tartar Warbo. Tartarus? Tartar Warbo. That one up there. Oh, Tata Warbo. Okay. Even to this day, I prefer course, to... Yes, you know the saying of the Ogandi chieftains. Hunt first the enemy, then the woman. Not the savage's <laughs> idea everywhere. It, it is the natural instinct. Introducing Zarov, the keyboard king. Can't help but feel that they're trying to model Count Zarov a little bit on Bela Lugosi's Dracula, but he doesn't quite have the presence of Bela Lugosi. She's onto the count. She knows what's happening. Wow, another great shot. Look at that. It's fantastic. I guess I'll have to go. Good night, Mr. Rainsford. Good night. We'll be seeing each other at breakfast. Fay Ray has a really beautiful speaking voice, and I really Good like her we screen won't be presence too. Each other at breakfast. Ah, I think your brother's doomed. I like this backstory that the Count is a uh, you know deranged Russian aristocrat who fled the revolution. Wow. That was quite a shot. Good night, sir. Well, here's long life. A long life. Ha, 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 Tell me, Mr. Trowbridge. Now, huh? We'll make a night of it. I hope so, Mr. Trowbridge. Just you and I, pal. I don't think this drunk guy's going to be very good sport to hunt. <laughs> it will be a relief to get him off the screen, though, because he's quite annoying. I'll meet you downstairs in five minutes. Thank you. I really like her character. She's smart, she's got agency, she's interesting. Look at that lighting, it's fantastic. Beautiful lighting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> watch out, watch out to knock that over. <laughs> this is unusually graphic for a film of this period. Oh, he's going to taxidermy him in some way. <laughs> this is grim. Where's my brother? Where's my brother? Oh golly. <laughs> this is really grim. He was playing. When the next ship arrives, we'll have gorgeous sport together. You murdering rat. I'm a I had not anticipated this bad. twist that he would want Same this Rainsford to become a hunter with him. I thought he was just gonna hunt him. Say you'll hunt with me. She's so plucky. Only after the kill does man know the true ecstasy of love. Ecstasy. Wow. I know I'm saying wow a lot, but this is really amazing. Reminds me a lot of the process shots from King Kong. I do wish he was a little bit more sinister and creepy, though. That doesn't take you far in this jungle. Come on, let's keep going. Come on. Might be an idea to take the high heels off, I think, for the, um, <laughs> for trying to run away. Another fantastic shot. Look at that. This is beautifully photographed. <laughs> He's too clever for that trap. 
He's got the Tata Warbo. That was fantastically well done. I thought the Count was supposed to wait till midnight before he started hunting them, and it's still broad daylight. You wish to play the leopard? We've got two hours till dawn. We've got to use our brains instead of our legs. But he'll have his rifle. And we'll have a man. But two hours till dawn, so it's the middle of the night? Makes me drink. Okay. <laughs> He's going to release the hounds. And he did release the hounds. Something tells me something bad's going to happen to these dogs. I'm worried there's going to be quicksand in this uh, fog hollow. <laughs> and would you really trust the Count to stick to the rules of the game after all this? I don't think he's just going to stop when the half an hour is up. Look at that shot! Fantastic composition. Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh, oh yuck! <laughs> I was not expecting that. This is very suspenseful. Uh oh, gators! They just keep raising the stakes all the time. Don't go near it! Look at these sets of photography, everything, it's amazing! Wow! That is incredible! Okay, how are they gonna get out of this? Now I know how they felt. Now the hunter learns his lesson about how the animals feel. Look at those dogs go! This tracking shot! Amazing! How are they doing this in 1932? Another fantastic process shot. Oh no! Dog in the water! Is this rear projection? I'm not sure but it looks brilliant. Oh no! Don't stab the dog! Golly gee! Don't stab it! Ah oh, no! I hope they didn't really stab that dog. <gasps> he went over the edge! I was not expecting that. This film is filled with surprises! Oh no, poor Fe Fe Ray. <laughs> oh dear. Look at these shots! And that! Are these stop motion birds? Animated birds? Now he's going to expect some loving. The hero's got to come through that door and save her, please. Yes! Come on, get him! The Count needs to be killed. Count's not going to stand for being beaten. Oh, but of course I insist. He's not going to play fair. <laughs> if there's any justice, the Count's going to get attacked by his own dogs. Wow! I like the rough and ready nature of this fight. It doesn't look choreographed, it just looks kind of clumsily real. Not the Tata Wobo! Actual wrestling! Ooh! That looks painful! Oh no! No! Oh! Bloody hell. Oh! 
He had it coming. But I don't believe he's fully dead yet. Oh no! Check to make sure he's properly dead. He's not dead! Behind you! He's got to go out the window and get eaten by the dogs. Please. Oh. How are they going to escape from this? Duck. Yeah, dogs need their revenge. So do we. Beautiful. That was fantastic. And even the ending with the door. So, so good. What a movie! Well, I had no idea what to expect from the dangerous game, but I was just blown away by it. It was amazing. It was so suspenseful, beautifully written, very well acted, mostly. Fantastic score, amazing sets, just brilliant. It was full of surprises, very fast paced. I felt like the only weak link really was the guy who played uh, Count Zaroff. Um, in, a, in another pair of hands, I think it might have been a lot more menacing. And I can only imagine what an actor like Bella Lugosi might have done with this role. But overall, the acting was great. The two leads were fantastic. Fay Ray was, you know, wonderful. Very spirited performance. I think this was a year before King Kong. And I just looked up the director of this film, and it turns out he also directed the brilliant film She from the 30s. The Most Dangerous Game is a pretty short movie. It only goes for an hour. And I felt like the whole chase scene, the pursuit, the hunt, was actually sort of a bit short, shorter than I expected. But the payoff of that is that the hunting that is shown on screen kind of occurs in real time. So it adds a, a real layer of urgency to the whole film. I would highly recommend The Most Dangerous Game if you're looking for a surprising and perhaps lesser known horror film from the 1930s. The horror concept at the heart of this movie is really creepy and the execution really matches the quality of that premise. It's so great to be pleasantly surprised by a film. I really enjoyed this one and I think I would even watch it again. Thank you so much for watching today and I hope you'll join me next time. I'll see you then. Bye.